This is going to be a really quick one. Um, there's not a lot really that needs to be said about this. It is what it is. But I wanted to show this to you guys because um, I didn't. This this is this wasn't even available a couple of days ago. I don't think the uh, the first review on it that I see on Amazon was November 11th, and it's kind of crazy how something as in my opinion major as this gets released with barely a whimper. We see all kinds of products no one cares about, but then this, this is really freaking cool. Like this is going to affect my life. This is a product that most of us can use. So let's take a look. Give me just a sec, I'll look away for a second. I gotta switch my, uh, switch the camera over here. Okay, so we're taking a look at the uh, SanDisk Extreme 2 terabyte micro SD. So, this has a lot of different uses. So, being as my channel is primarily focused on PCs, PC gaming, that kind of thing, I will describe the, uh, the PC gaming use for this first. So, uh, a, a good use for this, and of course my phone always has to go while I'm doing videos. Um, a good use for this uh, uh, SD card, micro SD card, is gonna be um, uh, handheld PCs. So you're not going to use this to load, for example, like something new like Cyberpunk 2077. This isn't really for that kind of stuff. This is going to be, uh, so it is V30. So I don't know what the exact speed that that translates to. What are they claiming? Speeds up to 240 megabytes with their special thing. Uh, I don't know what normal, do they have anything about it here? Um... Let's see, oh, read speed, media speed. So I'm gonna guess that this is capable of somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, maybe 100, 120 megabytes a second, so, something like that, or megabit, whatever that, whatever that equates to. Oh, no, are they megabyte? They're saying megabyte. Uh, no, yeah, that could be right. Um, so it's not as fast as, you know, obviously your M.2 SSD, that kind of thing. But it is gonna be, about as fast as a mid-grade uh, hard drive from a few years back, which you can play. I mean, I've tested, as long as it's not just terribly slow, I have tested games like Cyberpunk on, on it, and it'll usually run fine. Uh, you'll occasionally see a little extra stuttering for loading screens, but it's gonna be great for your retro games library. So if you've got like, um, like, a, like a retro Steam library on your Steam Deck, or... Um, uh, you've got something like uh, like a Lenovo Legion Go or something like me. I've got a, um, you know, let me, uh, oh, and uh, let me point this out as well. So $209.99, that's a lot of money for an SD card, okay? I won't lie, it's a lot of money for an SD card. But if you look at like here, look at this right here, this PNY one terabyte, $89.99. Gigastone, some no-name brand, eighty-four ninety-eight. Um, so the actual cost per uh, terabyte is not bad. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it, the absolute price of the product is a little bit high, but for what you're getting, that really isn't bad. Okay. Um, the other thing, obviously, you could use this for. Give me just a second. Let me switch my camera back here. Uh, where are we? You maybe? There we go. Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, obviously the other, yeah, the other obvious stuff, uh, same thing. Like if you got like a Lenovo Legion Go or like a GPD win, like I have, um, music library. Um, but the primary, uh, game changer, this, this is going to be for me is going to be being able to carry around massive storage for my camera. That's reasonably fast. Uh, V30 is nothing crazy. You got V60, V90, that kind of thing that's faster. But V30 is fast enough for most stuff. So um, I just want to show that to you guys because I, I literally just ran. I was actually looking, uh, I was doing some research to see whether or not I could put a bigger um, uh, card because the, the, um, the Osmo Pocket 3 uh, DJI only specifies a maximum of 512 gigabytes. And I wanted, I know it's crazy, but I wanted to put a bigger card in it just so I have as much space as I could possibly ever need. And I was researching it and I was looking at cards and 
but uh, if you're wondering, yes, the DJI Pocket 3 appears to be able to take at least up to a one terabyte. But when I was researching for this, uh, this, S, this micro SD card, uh, I found that you could now get a two terabyte, which by the way, for those who haven't been paying attention, uh, two terabytes is something we've been, oh, my camera's kind of weird. That's a little better. Uh, we've been we've been being promised two terabyte micro SD cards for like ten years. Okay, when when these things first came out, they said, "Oh yeah, these things are eventually going to hit two terabytes, and the the maximum size on your phone was two terabytes." and and then they, they never hit. And then slowly we started getting 512s, then we started getting 1s, and then several months ago I saw the 1.5 start to show up. But this is, I mean, this is the size, this is the size and generally the uh, the data throughput speed of, of a fairly large external portable hard drive from just a few years ago. And I mean, it's only gonna go up from here. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope you guys find this interesting. And again, I, just, I wanted to share it to you because some of these products get released and nobody says anything. I cannot believe I didn't see something anywhere. I'm sure some photography channel covered it or something like that, but um, I didn't see anything about it anywhere. So I wanted to say something. So anyway, thanks for watching the video.